Um, perfect. Let's get into Matt's women. I'm going to share my Amazing. screen. I'm going to make sure I'm doing it. I feel like every time I'm doing this, I'm like leading a Zoom meeting, <laughs> a corporate <laughs> yeah, meeting. Yeah. One other thing I wanted to ask you before, if you were the bachelor, what would you be looking for out of these women? Like what would stand out to you night one? Oh, um, oh yeah. Night one. So yeah, that's, a, so I actually like sometimes some of the, the crazy antics. I know some people don't, but I actually like the antics because I think it just like, relaxes everybody and i like to laugh you know i like rode in on an ox for becca season True. so like, i kind of like antics i like like funny things and people that don't take themselves too seriously mm -hmm. so that's kind of what i'd be looking for night one okay so people are ready ready to laugh yeah exactly. all right friends 32 women this is abigail she's 25 she's from beaverton oregon she's a client financial manager she has a beautiful soul from Pacific Northwest who says that nothing makes her happier than enjoying a cold local microbrew on a beautiful Oregon day. Mm -hmm. Having hearing impairment never stopped Abigail. So she's hearing impaired yeah, from living her impaired. life to the fullest. She loves being outdoors. And when she's not working, she loves to spend time with family who she says bring out the best of her. Abigail is easygoing, laid back, always down to have fun and ready to find the man. Abigail says that getting to know someone on a deeper level is far more important than a successful relationship. Abigail says that she doesn't believe in love at first sight, but we'll see if that holds up with when she meets Matt. I'm trying to skim through some of these. So this is yeah. Abigail. She looks super normal. Yeah, She's outdoorsy. Yeah, I don't I say, know. Go ahead. I like sorry. her. I think I actually yeah, like, her. I think this was, actually, I picked like five going into this that I thought would be good. And I, she was one of my five where I'm like, I think she might make it far. She's cute and normal. And mm -hmm. Matt seems normal. It's hard to tell with Matt because we haven't seen him on a season. We know so he's true. like friends with Tyler, but I really don't know what we're going to get with him. What's interesting about Matt is that he's never been in love before. So I think that's going to mm -hmm. be his like storyline. Mm -hmm. yep. So yeah, Alana, I think. Age 26, hometown of Ontario, Canada. She's a photographer. Alana has always taken the road less traveled instead of taking the traditional college path after high school. Mm -hmm. Alana leaned into her desire for adventure and moved to Europe. That's freaking cool. Where she yeah, enrolled in different cool. programs throughout Europe. She calls the decision her greatest accomplishment yet because oh. it took her on a journey of self-discovery and exploration. Exploration. Uh, I, so that means, I mean, I feel like she must be pretty brave. Like she must be pretty yeah. bold to mm -hmm. like just go to Europe right after high school and like travel around. Especially so, in high, like right after high school. That's yeah. pretty young. That's yeah. super young. That's pretty My cool. Yeah. So never. I feel like she's going to be, have be pretty bold and brave. I think so. So she's going to be one that has an antic when she comes out of the limo. Yeah. Sure. You're probably right. Yeah. She's going to have like a European yeah, flag. Sure. <laughs> and she's the yeah. one people keep on tagging me as her, like saying like that. I look like her. I feel She's like maybe like, hair what? wise, but I don't I know. know if I, I see like, anything else. Hair color and face? if, if no. you look at my, I wore that same color also as my like headshot uh, for the bachelor's. I'll, I'll show you guys. Like it actually looks super similar. It's kind of yeah. funny. We'll just have to put you side by side. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Alicia. And I apologize to anyone if I'm saying your name wrong. <laughs> Age 24, hometown, New York, New York. She's a professional ballerina. And I have something to say about this. Mm -hmm. Alicia is a hardworking and incredibly driven woman. She was only 13 when she began pursuing her career as a professional ballerina. Through years of dedication and commitment to her craft, she is now proudly living her dream dancing for prestigious dance theater of Harlem. So I honestly think I met her at an audition once or twice before. Like I've definitely seen her before in New York. City, yeah, I was saying, so. really? <laughs> yeah, like, that's I true. Like I guess I New her. York. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it's very it's small. Really cool. Like anytime you go on an audition, you're like, oh, you again, you again, or anyone that kind of oh. has like similar like ethnic background, mm -hmm. you'll see a lot at the same and auditions. Then, and being a ballerina is obviously like takes so much discipline. Like out of all the genres of dance that one 100%. to be to make it as a ballerina is like so yeah and it didn't say throat. something about her being like 13 when she started or something so like yeah, yeah she's so been she's doing this super mature yeah. for sure yeah super mature i wonder and, yeah, if discipline. she's gonna be really quiet though she might because be. she's a ballerina ballerinas can go both ways where they're like crazy wild and like do like crazy things or yeah. they're like super reserved super quiet reserved. like observant yeah. i don't know she can go either way for me i'm hoping that she's not because i want to see a dancer like really <laughs> oh, out yeah, there. that's true yeah That'd be cool. But so, that yeah. should be interesting. And we have Amber. Here we go. Amber. <laughs> what? I've never seen anyone take a photo like this before. I haven't. I like we the jacket, allowed. but she's got that like smoldering. Like. <laughs> yeah, so Amber's <laughs> giving you the smolder from <laughs> from Tangled. Um, she is from Costa Mesa, California. She's 30. She's a nursing student. She's a vivacious single mother whose world revolves around her 13-year-old son. Currently, her typical Saturday night consists of dinner and board games with her son. Her soaking in the jacuzzi with close friends. Amber finds it hard to date as a single mom, I'm sure. Yeah. We've got the single mom on the show, guys. Yeah, and there's she, always one, usually. She's ready to go. 
She yeah. had a big face. <laughs> she was ready. She was he ready for serving. either housewives or for this. Like <laughs> she's gonna I mean? be <laughs> the girl that like pulls Matt aside and like makes out with him in front of everyone. Or yeah. just like she's gonna be a little a little Lucy, I think. And I I totally agree. Like that's that's what she looks like anyway. Yeah. She looks like she's a that's kind yeah. of what they wanted with Catherine Argro, but then of course yeah. she became super nice and she wasn't like that type. Yeah. But <laughs> that's so true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, definitely. She's gonna be trouble, but I'm here. I can't wait to watch. Anna, she's so smiley and cute. She has huge smile. 24. She's from Chicago. She's a copywriter. Anna is a small town girl living in a big city. She was born and raised in a tiny town in Minnesota. Oh, like Becca. In early yeah. age, her parents nicknamed her Hollywood. Thanks to her affinity for chic scarves and oversized sunglasses. As much as she loved her childhood filled with Friday nights at the local bowling alley and family dinners at Applebee's, this high school <laughs> cheerleading captain knew she was meant for something bigger. Now she lives in Chicago. She says she's living her life. So yeah, she seems super smiley, like hometown kind of girl. Totally. I think she's gonna be super bubbly. I just feel bubbly. like she's gonna be really sure. bubbly. Like, yeah. yeah. She Cheerleading that, captain, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Captain. yeah she's I get gonna want to be like everyone's friend in the house and it yep. may not go the right way, but yeah. <laughs> we'll sometimes that does rub people the wrong way. Yeah. Yeah. Like who's this girl? Like what's she yeah. about? She can't be this happy all the time. She has that you know, Hannah like B energy. She does oh, have Hannah B energy. Good, yeah, she that's Hannah a good Even like the body, like everything about her kind she's of. Give, yeah, right. she's giving you good angles. She's sitting into yeah. her right hip. <laughs> her I know. Shoulder. She knows. Uh, she's yeah. cute. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Brie, she's wearing a really cute olive dress. She's super cute. She's 24. She's from San Francisco, California. She's a communications manager. Brie is really something special. She was raised by her mother, mother and grandmother who made countless sacrifices to give her a fighting shot at having a successful life. For this reason, Brie has always outworked everyone around her because she learned on she learned early that on everything in life was wait why can i read that, that everything in life <laughs> was earned not promised brie now works for a high profile social media company mm, and is very mm. proud of her achievements as she would be so okay. honestly i'm jealous that she works for a social media company because you might know what the hell to do with social media before going on the show <laughs> yeah. I'm she's like gonna crush else. the social media game yeah yeah she's gonna be ready um she's super cute i really super yeah cute. matt would like her mm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm a fan. She's I just wish we knew more about Matt. Like, I don't know his That's type. I don't know what, you know, it's kind of mm -hmm. interesting. That's so true. Yeah. All I know is that he hasn't been in love before and he's friends with Tyler Cameron. <laughs> That's literally in Hannah, so, apparently. Hannah from Brown what I've too. seen on social media, he seems like, a, like an outgoing party guy, but also mm -hmm. like maybe has a softer side to him. Cause that's yeah. how Tyler kind of was. He like, he looks like this, like really hot, like Mm. could be a fuckboy, boy but actually wasn't because he has like very in touch with his emotions and kind of yeah. thing I feel like and matt i remember tyler saying boy. something about sometimes matt can be robotic so he's like which matt are we gonna see like the Ooh. robot perfect image matt or like finally like break down and like emotional matt so i did see a clip of him last night bawling crying so i did see that too yeah, yeah i think so. we'll get there but i think it might take a second yeah that might have been like the final rose ceremony like, yeah so we'll then see. maybe they it's cast true. these girls knowing that and that they're really going to be like out there yeah. with matt to kind of push him but yeah. I, if someone was like really out there with me i might recoil so it could go either totally way. <laughs> <Did I? laughs> carolyn she's super smiley she's got tattoos Ooh, we got some tat sleeve okay i don't think we've seen a lot of tat happens. sleeves okay i like that she's serving hips. <laughs> she's 30 she's from la so she's already there she doesn't even have to move she's a journalist though she's fiercely independent carolyn is a serial monogamous who says she has always been the caretaker <laughs> caretaker in her relationships now she's looking for a man who will want to care for her, but will also appreciate uh, her for her self-sufficient woman she is. She wants a bold man. Bold man. I feel like she's a, I mean, this is so stereotypical, but I feel like she's a badass. She has a bunch of tattoos. Yeah, she's fiercely tattoos. independent. She, she knows what she wants. Yeah. Yeah. She's a journalist. She's going to challenge her man. A journalist, too. I don't mm. know. I, I could see her going like halfway through. I don't know if I see her going all the way. Yeah, I don't know if I see her going all the yeah, way either. Yeah, but she seems cool. Like she seems yeah. like a girl that you can get a drink with. Oh, I feel like this girl looks like Kerpa a little bit. A little bit. Good little eye, Blake. Bit, yeah. Cassandra, <laughs> yeah, she's yeah. super cute, um, wearing a red top, very smiley, looks like Kerpa. Age 25, Newport Beach, California, where Tasha's from. She's a social worker. Cassandra always told herself she would finish college and then settle down. Now that she has her master's, master's degree in social work, master's degree, way to go. Yeah, okay. It's time to find love. Cassandra says coming on The Bachelor is the biz biggest risk she's ever taken for love, but she believes she and Matt may have a lot in common. As a partner, she is loyal, compassionate. So yeah, she is um, a go-getter. Yeah, she's from Newport too. So she's Cali girl. So I, she seems similar in the way I did things where I was like career, career, career. And then I was like, now it's time to focus on love. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. So it was like kind of a hard for me to shift. Um, 
but she's super cute and i feel like matt yeah, would like cute. her yeah. you're getting a lot of west here. coast so far right like yeah. a lot of west coast mm-hmm. Portland, only one east coast yeah 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 where he lives in new york doesn't he new york city uh yeah he does he's from florida yeah but lives in new york yeah okay mm-hmm. Chelsea she's super cute she's got big hoops she's wearing like she doesn't have like the long flowing hair like we're used to which I'm loving she's yeah, wearing a leather jacket like her she's giving you like fashion so true. yeah I, totally I, I actually it. picked her too I think she might go kind of far I think Matt I think so like too this is and awesome. she's from I've seen her. New York like model. she's from New York from Brooklyn, and yeah. I've seen her in a lot of the previews I feel like mm-hmm age 28 she's from brooklyn like you said she's a runway model oh hell yeah she's gonna be good and yeah and matt's used to (laughs) hanging out with models because of tyler (laughs) after graduating college and getting a full-time job in corporate america chelsea did one of the most courageous outrageous things she's ever done in her life she quit her job that's tough Mm -hmm. shutted her way into the world of modeling and never looked back chelsea's dating life was pretty non-existent until she was in college and her only relationship ended a year and a half ago when after five years of being together she felt she had outgrown him Damn girl, she yeah, said. <laughs> I've grown him. Okay. It's <laughs> like I'm. I'm go- done here. Um, yeah. She, gonna... Yeah. She's gonna be bold. She's gonna be the one that grabs him first the first night. Mm. She's gonna be. Yeah. Um, she's gonna good... have the best fashion of the sea. I can already. She oh, got yeah. the big hoops, the leather jacket, the, the oh, yeah. slit down the leg. Yeah. I can't. She's wait gonna to take outfit. risks, and I'm. I like it. Mm, yeah. She could be like a. And she looks friendly too. Like I feel like I don't even. I think like girls are gonna like her. Yeah. yeah like to be around her like she's right, like yeah. the girl that girls will go to be like oh i need advice kind of a yep. thing too mm-hmm. i love how we're doing all this based off pictures we're like listen this girl <laughs> gives great horrible. advice <laughs> i know it's gonna be totally it's wrong like people watching and i love it so much i know totally i remember when people did this for my season and what they were saying about me was cracking me up because i had my yeah. butt shirt buttoned all the way up and they're like this guy's a tool like this guy's a douchebag <laughs> and it's they so were funny. right yeah, Just kidding they me. nailed it on yeah <laughs> <laughs> i remember that picture like the polka dot blue shirt yeah oh yeah that one yeah yeah, yep i remember corinne she's very very long vivacious hair she's a brunette she's age 22 she's from palm frets connecticut she's a marketing manager also going to be good for social media happy with her life in connecticut corinne is ready to find someone that would be a great addition to her already wonderful world corinne comes from a big loving family and does marketing for the family business the family business a high-end italian restaurant Ooh, she's got like this family okay. i hope she makes it to hometowns mm-hmm. we get this big italian family yeah, with like they, the meatballs oh, yeah That's italian true. families are the best yeah again though i don't i don't know i'm not getting a lot from like what yeah. i don't know she's young 22 she's, she's so young, young. Yeah, yeah that's really young she's um and then i i read somewhere mm-hmm. that it said that she wants to she wants a man who will prioritize settling down over night having a busy, busy night life. so she wants and yeah I and mean, that makes sense because like big families usually you know they all hang out together if she does have a big family which i'm guessing she does but i think she does yeah 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 that's a good point too because oh. matt i feel like is a, a kind of into the nightlife scene especially mm-hmm. when you're right after the show and like the mm-hmm. you know like all yeah. the fame and all the things like that yeah. might be a hard sell yeah. for her agreed but she's 22 so it's hard for me to believe that she's like ready to be <laughs> <Party>. <laughs> <I> know, <laughs> wrapped up you know yeah. but who knows this girl looks like the girl from peter season amani you remember that like blonde ish black girl on mm. peter season I'm trying to remember did she go out early she went out early but remember. she i swear to god yeah. it's the same girl like i yeah. honestly when i looked at this i was like did they just recast same her exact style season? <laughs> i'm not even kidding <laughs> we'll have to pull that up later but they look very similar mm. I think it's the hair color. Age 25, she's from Albuquerque, New, Me- New Mexico. She's a realtor. Amani is the first to admit that she isn't an outwardly lovey-dovey kind of person. Same. But that doesn't mean that her desire for love doesn't run deep. She describes herself as goofy, selfless, and sensitive. And while she hasn't had much luck finding love thus far, she's here hoping that meeting Matt can change that. Amani is looking for someone caring, driven, and to be your best friend. She seems like, you know, quiet. Yeah, I would say a little reserved. Kind of wants him photo. to come to her. Mm-hmm. So Yeah, I don't know if I, I mean, we'll see what connection they have with Matt, but I don't know yeah. if I, yeah. It, and sometimes could be these, fine. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. some of these headshots don't give justice either. I mean, we all know that. Like sometimes oh, a headshot yeah. can like do it, nothing totally for you. And then you look at their Instagram, mm-hmm. you're like, damn. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. It's so true. Mm-hmm. We should be just pulling up their Instagram, but that would take too long. Yeah, right. So here we are. Um, yeah, I, it'd be one thing like if Matt really liked her and was like, going to her, but it'll be interesting if she's like a quiet girl, how that's yeah. going to go. It can go both ways. Mm-hmm. Ileana, my, I have a story on this one with girl too. Age 25, mm-hmm. she's from New York. She's a health food developer. Ileana is a perfect mix of beauty and brains. She is an entrepreneur who recently co-developed her own nutritional snack called Funky Monkey Energy and has big dreams of making a name for herself in the health food world. After ending her last relationship of four and a half 
years and living her best life in Manhattan, Ileana says she's ready to settle down and find her missing puzzle piece. She's 25. So actually my friend reached out to me about this girl because they're in the same modeling agency. Oh yeah. And so she's not fully just an entrepreneur. She's also a model. Mm. And she was like, oh, that girl, I, I can't believe she's on the season. I don't even think I can watch like blah, blah, blah. I don't even know. If she like mm-hmm. doesn't like her as a person. She just like, they have the same type oh, essentially gotcha. and they're kind of competitors. So she was like, I'm not into uh, it. So. Interesting. Be- it's kind of cool that she's oh, co-developed she, her own mm, like snack. That's awesome. health snack. She sounds that's just cool. like him and Tyler. Like it sounds like someone at his level and like same interests. Yeah. yeah but exactly. also I hate... You know what I hate when like the bachelor or whoever in ABC writes these bios when they start off like by saying she's the perfect mix of beauty and brains, yeah. but then for like the girl before they don't, but then like, I don't know, I hate whoever does that. Like, I wish they could like delete they're that choosing. part. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Don't, I don't like beautiful. when they yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah I exactly. I hate that part. Like, and people yeah. should know that you fill out like a 30 page packet of random freaking questions yeah. to get, <laughs> this is how they come up with your bios. You're not realizing like you're creating your bio as you're answering these questions. Yep. Like what's your favorite food? Like they're true. making your bio out of that. So <laughs> these things can be very random. Yeah. And very maybe random. not true to who actually the person yeah. is. So just so yeah. you know, mm. just Senia, super cute, super yeah. smiley. She's 27. Everyone has really long hair. San Antonio, yeah. Texas. He's a social media marketer. So many social media people. Jasenia <laughs> mm-hmm. is a total package of brains, beauty, and here we go again, and an infectious personality. She was born and raised in San Antonio and is a former pageant queen. Why did I know that she was going to be a pageant, pageant queen? Person? Even receiving the title of Miss El Paso in 2016. Okay. After recently ending her most recent relationship, Jasenia is hoping to find her true counterpart, counterpart in Matt. I honestly, when I was reading the bio, it read like a like an intro for a pageant person so that makes sense <laughs> she's super cute it's super cute. cute girl yeah pageant girls yeah. used to do usually do really well on the show whether it's yeah like you get a villain edit or whatever you usually get a lot of time on screen so 100%. they're good at answering questions and mm-hmm. articulating just gonna say that they're usually a little polished they're a little polished exactly. they're like kind of like yeah mm-hmm. trained if you will yeah so. so that might rub people the wrong way in the house yeah. it'll be like last season where I, I was watching clips and sydney asked Alea, I think is her name on. She was the pageant yep. girl. She was like, "Do you have a job or like yeah, you work? <laughs> Do you work or like you work or yeah. like?" She's like, "Um, yeah, I have like three jobs." Yeah, yeah. Oh, dying. Okay, Kaylee. She is twenty six. She's from Chicago. She's a hostess. Kaylee says she doesn't like to take herself too seriously, but that doesn't mean she isn't serious about finding love. Kaylee is witty, charismatic, not afraid to laugh at herself, and is hoping to find those same qualities in her future husband. Yeah. So Kaylee so, is young. Yeah. So yeah, she's how old was she? 24. 24. 20, so, or 26. Sorry, she's a little now. older. So I actually somehow she t- she came up in my search page one day mm-hmm. and she um let's just say she's uh so she's a hostess, but she's one of those kind of hostesses that like doesn't wear very much. So I think I she's going to be super bold. Yeah, she's like a club hostess. Oh, that's I think she's going to be super I was bold like and like out hostess. there. No. <laughs> just by super talkative, no, like yeah. Club hostess. The producers yeah. like hostess. Yeah. Oh, okay. So then I was getting a completely different vibe. I was like, well, she's probably not going to make it very far, but she's probably going to make it pretty I think she far. is. I think she's going to get the demi like demi like kind of like demi bad girl. Edit. Edit. And I think she's the one who shows up in lingerie night one. I've seen oh. her previews. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's, she's definitely, definitely going to get that. Yeah, and if you if very... you're that bold, the producer's like, let's keep her around. Yeah. We can do stuff with her. Yeah, so she's gonna make it far. I think. That's a great point. Deep. I'm glad you made that point, yeah. Blake. <laughs> yeah, Katie, she kind of reminds me of like Becca in a way, or Christina I Stolman too. That's so. Like oh my god, like that's so funny. I literally saw a meme that was like, or uh, on TikTok, it was like, my mom met my dad, and it was Becca, and then I <laughs> met my dad, and it was Christina, and then it morphed into her face. So that's no. so funny. You both just said that. That's yeah. hilarious. It was like nailed that one. Especially yeah. Christina had that color hair when she was on season. Mm-hmm. she's from Renton, Washington. She's 29. She's a bank marketing manager. Katie knows exactly what she wants in a man and is done wasting her time on boys who won't live up to her expectations. She is a witty storyteller who says when she finds someone worth committing to, she is most loving and committed partner. Anyone could ask for Katie is daring and adventurous. It's a lot of just like descriptive things. Yeah. Um, um I think she's the TikTok famous TikTok girl too, right? That's I the think one. She's, okay. Yeah, she's the so I think she's got a personality. Mm. Like I think oh, she's yeah. pretty funny and stuff. I think she's gonna do really well. I think she's gonna make it far. She was for another sure. one of my picks. Yeah. Is she famous for dancing on TikTok or like being funny on TikTok? I think it's funny. I think it's okay, then she'll be like I think. Set. Yeah, I think she'll, I think she's gonna do really well. She'll, she'll be, be along favorite. for a while, but I don't know if he'll like end up with her because like Agreed. she'll be like, I think she'll be a fan one. favorite though. Big yeah, definitely a fan favorite. Cool. I'm not sure how to pronounce the name. Kalia. Kayla, 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 Kayla. Kayla. Yeah. I was trying That's to make a that cool way to spell it. I like that's that, a really actually. cool way to spell it. I love. 
Kayla looks awesome. She's 28. She's from Durham, North Carolina. She's a healthcare advocate. Kayla is a unique soul that is driven and passionate about health work she does in her community while she mm-hmm. loves that her work means means a lot to a lot of people. Durham, wait, why can't I read anymore? To a lot of people of Durham, it means so much more to her because life is all about giving back. I like her. Kayla has been yes, overly committed so to her job, but she doesn't look at that negatively. So she seems like she gives back to the community. She's yeah, a good like heart. Cute. Super sweet girl. Yeah. She seems like she has a lot of friends. <laughs> I, mm-hmm. I think a lot of girls are going to like her. She's no really idea. good at makeup. Um, <laughs> bonus right there. She's got, <laughs> yeah, I like her yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I think too. she'll be a front runner for sure. Mm-hmm. Like she'll be like the sweet one that he really f- could really fall for because yeah, she yeah. has that like big heart. Yeah. I love that we just make shit up. <laughs> I, I know. know. It's so funny. It's, so, it's it's like, hey, let's just judge this book by its cover. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, We're doing know. the exact opposite of what you shouldn't do. People, yeah, exactly. But... <laughs> everyone's great kimberly love her hair so yeah, curly and pretty like so beautiful age 28 she's from seattle she's an airline recruiter kimberly is the kind of woman who radiates joy and happiness every everywhere she goes she's a carefree soul who would have no problem picking up her life and moving to a new town on a whim kimberly describes herself as funny loyalty and trustworthy and will be the voice and will be the voice of reason and shoulder to cry on if need be hmm. so yeah, I'm loving it so far. Even the diversity in hair and, and like the just diversity. like professions and like I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's so I, good. Mm, it is the really diversity good. this season's fantastic. Yeah, it's amazing. I, yeah. I really appreciate that they really like went there with it mm-hmm. and they really like listened to what people were saying. Yeah, I think she could be a really good front runner, and she sounds like the girl in the house that everyone kind of likes. Or, mm-hmm. but that could go the other way too, where it's like she thinks she's gonna be the girl everyone comes to, but she's actually not. And you yeah. Know? Yeah. Or more like friend zone, maybe. Friend zone, yeah. Him, but- yeah, I think so. I think there's been a couple of girls where I'm like, I could see Matt like confiding in some of these girls, yeah. but I don't know yeah. if he's necessarily going to have a huge connection with yeah. them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do we think we he wants like a really bold out there personality or like kind of no. softer? I don't, so I don't know because I think just from the little I know of Matt, I think he actually seems a little reserved. Like he takes, he obviously works out a lot. He eats right. Like I he's think very he's calculated. Yes, and very, and disciplined, like, disciplined. Very calculated. Like, mm-hmm. like Tyler said, like a robot almost. So I think he needs somebody mm. bold and out there and somebody who's going to push him and take him out I of his agree. comfort zone. Now, I don't know if that's what he ends up with or that's what he feels like he needs, but that's just who I think he needs. That's true. Like he might not pick the right person for himself. If that's yeah, the exactly. Case. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Which is always upsetting when that happens. Yep. Kit, she looks British to me. I just think Kit and I think British. <laughs> yeah, that's true. She's 21. She's from New York. She's a fashion entrepreneur. Kit is a true born and raised New Yorker. She currently lives at home with her parents in her heart of the West Village while finishing her last year of undergrad at NYU. Kit hasn't had a serious relationship since her first love in high school, but that's only because she hasn't found a man who can measure up to the level of emotional intelligence she needs. We're she's bringing out 21. the emotional intelligence. She's 21. <laughs> 21. Yeah, she's she's really young. young. She's I am really feeling, young. yeah, she's super young. And I l- later mm-hmm. down in that, that description, she says something about how she's in the social scene in, in New York. I have a feeling that she's got money. I think mm. like her family might have a lot of money. Yeah. Um, West I Village think she is might, expensive. Yes. West Village. Yes. It's expensive. Mm. NYU ain't cheap. Um, mm. That's a good point. Yeah, I have I have a feeling I don't know if the girls are gonna like her very much. Yeah, no, I don't think Especially so. Especially being twenty one. Yeah, right? There's always gonna be drama around that, her being twenty one. Like everybody's gonna be like, are you, Yeah, are you really ready to settle down? You know, originally kind of I was thinking of her as a McKenna type, but like the the rich part I don't see. I just thought like yeah. her being young younger. Mm-hmm. She's pretty like, girl, she'll though. be like misunderstood, maybe. Yeah, she's pretty. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. Yeah. Super pretty. But that I think she's a little too young for yeah. She'd be great for paradise. 21. I was like 21. I was a completely different person than I was, oh you know, going on the it's show. It's scary like, to think about. Geez. Like being on TV at 21? Hell yeah. no. And then dealing yeah. with the social media? And, oh, oh God, God, no. And like, I just think about kids these days. It's just tough. It's tough yeah. out here. The <laughs> children. <laughs> Uh, Kristen, she seems super cute, age 27. She's from my hometown, Virginia Beach, Virginia. She's an attorney. Kristen is a very smart and successful attorney who says that while she dreams of finding her perfect match, her busy career and professional ambitions haven't left her with too Mm -hmm. much spare time to date. Kristen is truly wifey material. Not only is she beautiful, but she's fiercely loyal, intelligent, and credits her unmatched work ethic to her incredible mother who raised her. She's definitely a party starter and needs a man who doesn't who won't be intimidated by her natural magnetism. So the ask could be a good person for Matt. Yeah, I'll say I like, I mean, she's an attorney, so she's smart and mm-hmm. um, it's like yeah, disciplined. Same dilemma like Andy Dorfman and Rachel had of like, obviously being an attorney took up so much time in their lives. Like, cause it's like literally such a full-time demanding yeah. job that 
obviously yeah it's hard That's to find love it's hard to find somebody yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. bb girls i'll say i can get down and i agree that she can be a party starter so, <laughs> so <laughs> bb I girls bb girls victoria from peter season but also was also from virginia beach oh that's right yeah yeah lauren she's super pretty yeah, super uh pretty. she's 29 she's from miami Hi. nicole <laughs> she's a corporate attorney another attorney lauren oh, is a florida cool. girl the through and through she's a successful corporate lawyer who recently had her law reviews published wow she's on it okay in Lauren's free time, she enjoys fashion, going to be going to the beach, working out, and spending time with her girlfriends in their book club. Wow, she sounds like literally married to real. Yeah, she's got her shit together. God yeah. damn, she I'm was like actually another one of mine where I was like, I think she's gonna do well. She's like she's top three pretty. for me. Yeah, I love. Um, yeah, I'm I'm a fan. I think she's gonna go far. Yeah. This girl, I feel like I've seen in a lot of um previews as well. Maggie. Mm. Oh my god! Interesting Jeez. style. It's like Buffy yeah. the Vampire Slayer. Totally, yeah. that's, <laughs> that's <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what I uh, that's like a bold choice to go on to um to go to the casting and learn where this outfit is. So cool. Go for it. Is that like a she's, corset almost? It's a corset. Yeah, she's, she's, like she's corset. definitely being herself. A belly corset. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's not afraid to like brace her, brace who she is, and she's thirty two, oh. so that makes sense. That makes so sense. Yeah. She's gonna be like once you get past the like the 30 you're like whatever yeah <laughs> like, exactly like i'm gonna me. be me yeah yeah adwa ethiopia wow a pharmacist yeah, cool. maggie is a beautiful kind-hearted woman whose striking looks are are only a small part of her story she grew up in a small village in ethiopia and while she says moving to the u.s was the scariest thing she has ever done she doesn't regret it one bit maggie was only able to move here after she literally won the diversity visa lotto whoa she wow. is so grateful for all the opportunities she's been given in life and knows firsthand to never take anything for granted. Ooh, I can't wow. wait to get to know her and her story. She's going to get like the beautiful. first one on one so day cool. and like drop the the story on him. Yeah. She's going to have wait a to hear her story. story. I, she better get a one on one. I oh, for sure. That. Like yeah. that's a, that's really a pretty, need yeah. for yeah. a one-on-one. -on -one. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's amazing. Like think about like she made it all the way to America and now she's on the bachelor. Like good. Wow. Yeah. Holy, that's two lotteries. She <laughs> two won, lotteries. You know? Literally. Yeah. Those are hard to do. Wow. She's bold. I see her going very far. Good for her. Mary. She's super cute. Everyone's cute. So I should stop saying that. Age 24. <laughs> she's from Odinson, Maryland. She's a marketing director. Mary is a former beauty queen mm -hmm. living yeah, in the like American it. dream. Beauty queen. After moving to Maryland from Puerto Rico as a teenager, Mary enrolled in college and competed in pageants, most recently winning Miss Maryland USA in 2019 and placing top 10 at Miss USA. I wonder if she was there when Kaylin and Hannah were there. Oh. Now she's a career focused woman on the go who's ready to oh. find her the love of her life and settle down. So she's going to be one queen. of the past. There's a lot of accomplished women already. Yes, there's yeah, a lot of accomplished, really women. accomplished I'm, I'm women. I'm impressed. Too. Yeah, I'm impressed with the casting like, so what far. What am I doing? <laughs> 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 I'm doing my life. Yeah, she it's probably like Madi, by the way. I think it's like Madi. That's probably like how you say oh, Madi, instead of Mary. Madi. Probably. Madi. Sorry, I made Madi. it really. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Again, I don't know Who what knows? I <laughs> didn't read I any of so. these before. Because of the eye. I like that. But yeah, I'm sure she'll get a lot of screen time, like we said. Those those beauty patterns tend to be polished and mm -hmm. yeah, very polished good. Polished and like a little, you know, and competitive. Fights. Yeah, they probably yeah, very know each other. Competitive, good point. Very, yeah, oh, you're right. That's probably gonna be a storyline. Mary Lynn, cute, <laughs> age 28, Studio City, California. She's an event coordinator. Mary Mary Lynn needs a man who is ready to commit and not afraid to wear his heart on his sleeves. She wants a stable man who will love her unconditionally, someone who is loyal to the core. In five years, Marilyn hopes to be married with two or more rescue dogs and living a productive, inspirational. She's the girl that has like a list of all the things that she wants for her life. Like she has like, <laughs> like a, a manifestation checklist. that she's like, yeah. nope, he doesn't have a, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. She's also, I think she's got a little bit of a smolder and like kind of dark features. Yeah, like, we've I never like seen that. a lot yeah. of girls like like that. There's always like just that, one yeah. dark brown hair girl, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. She yeah. seems like she could be the girl that also pulls him aside and makes out mm -hmm. with him. Yeah. I like her. Yeah, me too. But she seems like she is not willing to settle whatsoever. So, that yeah. <laughs> so that's going to be hard for her in paradise, I'll say. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, MJ, super cute hair. She's mm -hmm. blonde. Well, very few blondes. Age 23, she's from Hudson, Ohio. Whoa, shout out, Ohio. Hairstylist <laughs> MJ is a beauty expert who sees the beauty of life and all that she does. MJ grew up on a small island in Lake Erie where she loved being outdoors and on the water. She is passionate about making people feel better about themselves and says that her calling in life is to make the world a more beautiful place. I was just thinking of the girl from Mean Girls. It's like, let's just bake a cake with rainbows and everyone be friends. <laughs> uh, yeah, she looks super like She's a little right? young. Cool. She's I like young. the name MJ. She's young. A lot. Like MJ I just love MJ. Yeah, I like that name. She's like not wearing any makeup, so good. For no, her. yeah. 
Totally. It's a good point. Yeah. I like her, I like that, but yeah. she's super young. So I don't know how that's going to go. We'll find yeah. out. She's going to be doing everyone's hair in the house. She's a hairstylist. <laughs> Piper, age 23. She's from Happy Valley, Oregon. She's a graduate student. Don't discount Piper as just a pretty face because there's way more to this center than meets. Yeah. Why are they describing how pretty they are? I don't, I don't I know. Right? Exactly. And then who's to see. say, like, I hate that. And who I hate when they put like, if they're like intelligent or we don't really know based on just like your career. Yeah. 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 She yeah. didn't. Yeah. But that's what they do. Like, they kind of describe Ugh. them and what they're looking for in a man when they don't know. So they kind of mm-hmm. did that with her. That's true. So I don't really know much about her. I just know she's super cute based on Yeah, the she's photo. really pretty. Yeah, I like her hair a lot too. Yeah. Yeah. Curly and she knows her, her she knows her angles. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I don't I don't know if they like didn't say that much about her because they she doesn't go far. I don't know. I just, yeah, like, that's the other thing you have to kind of look at. They're too, like, ah, yeah. oh, we can just, you know, fill this one in because <laughs> it's not gonna matter. Um, but we'll see. Rachel, she is 24. She's from Cumming, Georgia. I didn't know that was a place. <laughs> I was waiting for you to mm, my head's in We're the very gutter. mature here. We're very mature here. <laughs> yeah. Oops. She's a graphic designer. Wasn't um uh, Tia from like Wiener or Arkansas or something? Oh uh, like, yeah, yeah, Wiener. Yeah, yeah. Wiener. God. Yep. Her and Raven. That's so funny. I'm, I'm, I'm four year old. <laughs> she's with. She has beautiful eyes and personality to match. She's a Southern sweetheart with a close knit family. She's a hopeless romantic to her core. She has never been in love and believes that Matt. So her and Matt have never been in love. So they kind of bond on that. Mm, that'll but be I, interesting. Yeah, I almost feel like because he's never been in love, he needs someone that like has really been through it yeah, to get them there. I agree. There. Yeah. I don't know. But she's, we'll she see. seems like she seems yeah. like she'd be fun. But I then, like the like, jeans. She just rocked jeans. Yeah. You know? She's like she, very like, casual. Yeah. Super casual. Yeah. That is cute. She's like yeah. very beachy vibes. Yeah. Coming Georgia. I can't get over that. <laughs> um, Nicole, help me out with this name. <laughs> Sane. So I actually, I actually know this girl. Really? She's from Denver. I mean, I've met her once, so okay. I don't know her. Where? Um, yeah, I think it's Sane. So yeah, she's from Denver. Um, I met her at a uh, concert one time. Mm. Yeah, we talked for like five minutes. Stage but she coach? seemed super nice. She seemed a nice, cute girl. Yeah, cool. She was like, yeah. hi, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I don't remember how we started talking. I think we were just like by each other, but. She's cute. She seems yeah. like a fun girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Denver, Colorado. She's an IT consultant. She's um has a contagious zest for life from swimming with sharks in south africa to being inducted into university of florida hall of fame for outstanding leadership service and academic Mm. achievement nothing is out of reach for her okay so she's accomplished she's traveled Mm -hmm. i think this could be a good one for matt to kind of pull him out of his shell Mm, yeah that's a good point i remember she was super easy to to talk to yeah Yeah, she she walked walked up to me and she was yeah super easy to talk to and just easy conversationalist yeah cool i'm into it Sarah, I don't know how many we've done, but it feels like a million. 24. She's from San Diego. <laughs> she's a broadcast journalist. She's always dreamed of finding her fairy tale ending. She comes from an incredibly, incredibly close knit family and says that her parents are a true example of loving and a loyal relationship that she wants for herself one day. Sarah has been in two serious relationships, but unfortunately, neither turned out to be her prince charming. So she's been through it before. So again, that yeah. could be someone that mm-hmm. super pretty. She's got a, also got like a smoldering smile. She reminds me of look. Alex from our season. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's true. I have a feeling she's going to be the villain. I don't know why. She has I villain just vibes. have a feeling. She does. She has villain she vibes a little older. bit. Yeah, she looks it's more in the like, eyes. Like there's mm-hmm. something like she's been through some shit. True. Yeah, she's seen some true. shit. <laughs> she's seen some shit and she's like yeah. ready to pounce. I don't know why, but I just have a feeling that she's she going to be the villain. Yeah, way older than her age. Right? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Serena, she looks like she's just here to have fun. Everything's great. Lovey dovey. <laughs> bubbly. 24, Lady bubbly. Time. She's San Francisco. She's a flight attendant. Oh, she'll be great. Mm-hmm. Serena, sweet. their flight attendants tend to do really well. Like Lauren was a flight attendant. Yeah, because they're really another. talkative. They're really talkative. social. They yeah, like, social mm-hmm. and easy along with Yeah, them. ready mm-hmm. to serve you drinks. Serena is yeah. a free spirit who loves adventure and is always up for a good time. After spending time in quarantine, she has taken the time to really think about what qualities she wants in a partner. And she is here because she thinks that Matt James may be the perfect match. So yeah, she's traveled. She seems fun. She's, um, yeah. she's like ready to go. Never been so much long dark hair in the history in of my this franchise. Yeah, there are yeah. a lot. Yeah, like, I love like, it. Mm, me too. I love it. Whew. Which is good because the blondes like really have to keep their. They have to do their hair more, and the roots come out. They're like they're gonna be lucky. They don't have to really do their hair halfway <laughs> through the show. Yeah. <laughs> Serena P. She's 22. She's from Toronto, Canada. Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Sorry. 
Camp Canadians publicist for as long as she can remember. Serena P has always been a believer that no matter what your age is, when you know, you know, Serena P has always led a disciplined lifestyle and says that she has never really taken the time to pursue true love. But now this typically logical thinker is throwing her rule book mm-hmm. out the window is ready to meet the man of dreams. So another one's like never really been in love. Yeah. And actually mm-hmm. she actually says in there that she's disciplined. So that's interesting. That means she must yeah. be super disciplined. Like, yeah. yeah, she's only 22. So well, she might be like closed minded a little bit. Yeah, as exactly. Far as, like, yeah, what she's sort of looking for yeah. in love. Yeah. So that could be like the thing that kind of like breaks her, you know, like she goes yeah. in the situation and like ends up crying all the time because it's not mm-hmm. what she thought yeah. it would be. Sydney, another Sydney. Sydney. Uh, she's yellow dress, age 28, Nashville, Tennessee. She's a marketing specialist. Sydney is strong, opinionated woman who knows what she wants and isn't afraid to vocalize it. If her family could see use one word to describe Sydney, it would be opinionated and Sydney's wholeheartedly agrees saying her role in life is to give facts about over being a shoulder to cry on. So she is going to be the girl that's like constantly giving her opinion, yep. constantly talking in the group. She might be like the narrator of the season. You know, yeah. there's always kind of like a narrator. Yeah, yeah, exactly. True. Victoria, she seems super tall. Yeah, she does. She does seem super tall. That's funny to say that. Victoria is our last one. Whew. She's 27. She's from L.A., occupation what queen that okay, demi's mean? gonna fight her <laughs> what does that mean <laughs> okay, what does queen mean okay victoria or queen victoria as she likes to oh, refer no. to herself she oh, might be the no. villain. <laughs> oh no has outgrown her once upon a time jet setter lifestyle but not her sense of grandeur victoria has shifted focus towards entrepreneurship and has launched a few businesses in her health and beauty space victoria knows she has a big personality and needs a strong man who can keep up but who won't be controlling in any way, shape, or form. The top things Victoria needs in a relationship are loyalty, honest. Oof. Hmm. The lowly the quirky the, girls uh, they've chosen. Like I feel yeah. like there's some that have all said that. Like they they want like they know exactly what they're looking for. And they're everybody all thinks of, that though, I feel like. Yeah. But uh mm-hmm. yeah. I, like, think I don't know what I want. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> and then sometimes Mac can surprise them too. Like she can they can follow somebody they wouldn't think they would. What does it mean? Like, what did she say down there? Something about being a jet setter? She said she's a her once setter, upon a time. Her once upon a time mean? jet setter lifestyle, but not her sense of grandeur. So she hmm. has outgrown whatever that means. Yeah, Maybe they're saying she has expensive it. taste. I feel like yeah. that's what they're saying. She has no, rich she's, family. She's, she's, she's a character. Yeah. Yeah. She's, a she's got a, like she like did um what's it called when you in college and you like spend a semester she did like did oh, one travel semester. abroad yeah she traveled abroad yeah. and she like <laughs> feels like she's royalty now oh, i don't know great. she could be trouble or she could like think that she's gonna be a lot of trouble and then ends up like getting sent home early yeah so totally. that, that could be interesting yeah. that's it you guys uh, whoa i'm exhausted it. we yeah, made we it too. <laughs> blake what'd you say girl. your top three were so i like that uh katie girl the like tiktok girl TikToker. that looks like beck and christina yeah. um her i like lauren i like lauren i like lauren and i liked um one of the other girls from oh the abigail those are my top three right which now which one was abigail the, the hearing, hearing impaired the first girl oh yeah yeah, yeah. I like hearing abigail impaired too. so like abigail katie and lauren i think it was katie hell yeah those are that's, my three. There's so many. That's an early three. And we don't have any spoilers out yet. Like, I Nothing. have no idea. Yeah, this is legit no idea. just a guess. Yeah. 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 We literally made all that up. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got it from the very yeah. small amount of previews we've had. Wow. I'm excited for it, though. And it's coming out soon, January 4th. Um, Thanks, Blake, for being yeah. here. Thanks for yeah, sitting through. No, thank you so us. much. Yeah, that was um, fun. I, I'm excited for the season. I think, I hope we get to see who Matt is at first before yeah. we get to know the girls, you know, because I feel like you said we don't really know Matt. So we'll see. Yeah. Like, I want to first, like, half of the episode being like who's matt why did they pick him because clearly they saw a lot in him if they picked him before he even went on the show Mm -hmm. so i'm sure there's a lot of things in there that we're gonna find out i'm excited it should be good Mm -hmm. yeah it's gonna be good 